Alright. Fuck! Fuck! Uh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Well, here we go, everybody. It's a podcast. <laughs> Jesus, fuck everything. Um, here's the shelf. And it's a shelf. It's a shelf. I did it. And it's got candles just like I wanted. So it's almost like I'm a normal human being with a shelf in my room. And uh, I can have people over. If you notice there, there's a maker's mark back there. With candles. And I, I wanted candles. I got candles. Smelling good in here right now. Shelf. A lot of things happened uh, between last time and this time. I went to Lucidity Festival in Santa Barbara. And that was fun. So I was putting up signs. I'm on the sign crew. And but the main thing is that our, our camp was the coolest camp, I think, of the whole damn festival. We had the second base camp. We had this cool sign with, like, some, some tits. And um, the tits were, like, the B. Second base. Second base. You know, because that's what second base is. It's all about the boobs. It gets the conversation of like, well, what's second base for girls? Is there a second base for girls? Not really. Second base is, for girls, it's all just a second hand, you know, for the second base. There's no second base for girls. Unfortunately for them. Shelf. Boom. Got the mullet in full view. I love mullets. I have a, I have like a, a, like a, like a collection of mullets. The mullets sting, okay? I've had a lot of people tell me, no more mullet, Ryan. Let the mullet go. No, I'm not letting that go. Maybe when I'm 40. I can't rock it anymore, and I, can't, I just won't even be able to go to dance shows at that point. It'll just be embarrassing. Do things that you don't want to do that uh, scare the shit out of you. Force yourself to do what uh, scares you. Because then you grow. Then you make yourself better. And it's worked for me. You know, like dance like an idiot. Make a fool of yourself, you know flail around like a drunken moron it pays off you know you don't want to be like 60 and still wearing like same old damn t-shirts and same old goddamn fucking pants and you're just the same person you were back when you were 40 don't let that happen folks fuck i need to make myself laugh So I was bowling the other day, and I'm like talking to my friends, and I'm like, yeah, you know, how are you doing? And they're like, hey, you, you know, Ryan, what do you, so like, what do you do to like make money? Here it is for all to see. What I do to make money is I just have money. Uh, no, I just have money, and I uh, buy investments. It's kind of unfair. Life is weird. I'm a terrible person, and yeah, that's what I do. To, that's what I do. But I'm working on it. I want to do other things. I want to make funny videos and uh, make music. Making lots of friends and prompt. Hey! Friends! He's fucking making friends and shit. Soon I'm gonna be playing Ultimate Frisbee with them and going to hot springs and stuff. So I had an app idea. So recently I've been involved in some bad thing. Like, for example, maybe I put my car into an uh, object that I didn't want to. I'm not gonna get into that, but I want an app where if, if something bad happens to you, like say you have like a bad hangover or, you know, you bust your car into some sh I want an app where you can be like, okay, I did something bad. Boop. And it's like, what did you do that was bad? Well, I drank too much last night. All right, I'm hungover. And you hit the hungover thing, and it's like, well, here's some people you can call or text who are also in your situation. Also hungover, also hit some bad things with their car. And you're like, fuck, I need that. You're like, yo, yeah, I just fuck, I'm so hungover, and like, oh no, bro, me too, bro. I'm hungover too, and it's just like, or you text them, and, and it's just like, you get like the connect. That's a great app idea, I'm just gonna give it out to the world free, because I don't know how to write apps. Please make it, somebody, because that would be great, because I sometimes I just feel so alone. <laughs> Thank you.